already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Queen of Cups. And it's with the Five of Wands. Now, this Queen of Cups can indicate a woman who would be very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work, to our life. And that's even possible if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when you get the Queen of Cups. Yeah, whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in the reading, just know that those are two of the very most loving energies in the deck, in the deck, in the tarot. It's all about love, kindness, compassion, um, nurturing, healing, supportive. Now, it's with this Five of Wands, which can refer to competition. It can sometimes mean romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and that you can be successful. But the thing is, with the Five of Wands, you're going to have to try just to see results. Yeah. So, there's going to be a need to believe in yourself stronger than ever at this time. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you could be successful if so. So, Recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands. So, it looks like, um, for some of you, your person, they want to uh, maybe heal a situation or heal a connection with you. They want to offer you support. They want to offer love to you. They want to offer kindness, compassion. But it looks like you may not be feeling it because this person, they, they bring competition to the connection. Romantic rivals. Yeah, and you really don't like the fact that you, you kind of get the notion that this person, they enjoy. They like to see it. They feed off of that type of energy. Because if you look at the Five of Wands, you see there's five men there. And there's four of them beating each other up with their sticks or their wands. And then you got your person over there just standing up. He's the one to the left side, just standing there watching. And you can't see his face. You can't see the details, I'm sure. But he's smiling and grinning. He's just so happy. That did. He has some, some people fighting over him. Yeah. So it's kind of a, like a, an immature energy. He gets his ego fed that way. And you see your person like this for some of you. Yeah, they like to bring competition. They like the fact that they can make you struggle for dominance in the relationship. But they, they kind of want, it looks like they want to heal the situation. They want to offer you love, support. And they, it looks like they, they were trying to let you know they want to make this work. Offering that cup of love. Yeah, so we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Ten of Cups. And it's with the Six of Wands. Now, the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. It points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's really good. Ten of Cups, it speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. And to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those, are, those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled. That's part of the picture here, too. 
great card to see regardless of any question. Yeah, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. Beautiful. And it's with the Six of Wands, which is another great card in the deck. It signals, it signals victory, recognition. If you're anxious about a court proceeding, or if you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebrations. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. As if you got a lot of support from a whole lot of people. Yeah, just like she is. You see the Six of Wands, it's a card that's below the word present. That's a Six of Wands. She's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air. Yeah, and the people there, so many people who love her. They're waving their wand in the air just like she is. They're mimicking her. So she's feeling the love. She's feeling the attention. She likes it. Victory and success. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. So basically, coming out for you and your person. Yeah, this, whoever this is that, um, to try, that's trying to heal the connection, offer you their cup, they actually see you as a dream come true. Yeah, you may, you may not even know that they feel this way or they've been feeling that way. But you're their dream come true with the Ten of Cups showing up here. Yeah. It's saying when you get the Ten of Cups, if you're worrying about a romantic relationship, it's an indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. Because you and your person, uh, you're on the same page, but it doesn't, sh I'm getting that you're not on the same page. Not for, not for a lot of you. Some of you, you are, but There's something going on, whereas you, you may not be thinking the same way as they are. But they, put it this way, they see you as their dream come true. Yeah, now because it's put clarified with the Six of Wands, you could be already knowing what you really need or want in your life. And it's not someone who enjoys seeing you struggle for dominance in a relationship. Or it's not someone who brings romantic rivalry. Yeah, you, you want something like this Six of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you want, you want to be recognized. You want to be the one recognized. You want victory. When you're in a relationship, you want, you want it to be successful. And now the Six of Wands is interesting. It kind of reminds me of a, of a strong soulmate type of energy or a twin flame, if you know what that is. The Six of Wands suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego. While on the other hand, the, per the other person... They're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring, and this is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with this type of energy, you get a lot of sexual energy, and there's passion and long nights spent in bed. So you're looking for, uh, you're kind of looking for a complete package. Yeah, you want great chemistry. You want your person to kind of like mirror you. They would, someone who would already know that romantic rivals is not what you're looking for without you having to tell them. Yeah, you want victory, success, and recognition. Yeah, you want someone that's a strong connection, very strong connection. Yeah. And your person, they see you as a dream come true. So we move on over and we take a look and see what 
the challenge is. Well, we got the strength card. And it's with the Nine of Cups. Now, the strength card with this, it's important for you to take time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got a lot of kids. So, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because the outward things, they could be going all right. But what, what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability... But you have the responsibility, so conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're doing. Now, it's with the Nine of Cups, which is actually one of the most uplifting pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's often known as the wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, is likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Yeah, the appearance of this Nine of Cups, it's about happiness, good things to come, it also can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, Virgo, like I said, your person said they see you as a dream come true. You got a lot of cups here. You got somebody that's got a lot of love for you. A lot of emotions for you. So coming up, they could be looking at you as, yeah, they like your, they also like your energy. They see that you, you you're a bit different there. You you practice with the strength card here. They see that you practice a lot of self love and you got self respect for yourself. Yeah, they, they feel you're different. So it's making them have even more desire for you. And they feel that they, they would be blessed if they had you. They would be very satisfied and blessed. They like that you're different. You stand out from the crowd. You're different than the, than the others that they've been dealing with. Yeah, you're into your... Self-love. You got a lot of dignity. You don't just stand for anything. Yeah. So, Ten of Cups, like I said, that's about a dream come true. And this Nine of Cups, it's about a wish coming true. So, your person, they got their eyes on you. Just look at the way this man is looking in the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is the card that is below the word challenge. See how he's looking? Yeah, he's like, if you can see the details on his face, he's like really zoning in. Like, yeah, this is the one. She's so different. Yeah, she's, she's the wish. She's what I've been wishing for. Now, it's what the, yeah, that was the challenge. So we'll move on over. And we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Two of Swords and Two of Wands. Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhere well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. But you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be, it may just be time to bring things back into balance. But this requires open communication. And it's with the Two of Wands. Now this one is about keeping your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It can indicate a partnership with another person. It could be business, personal, or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to, get to the give and take. Stay mindful to the give and take that's required for a successful relationship. So if things are feeling out of balance, 
for you now. Well, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So your outcome, Virgo, Two of Swords, clarified by the Two of Wands. So yeah, it seems like your person is really determined. But you know what this person brings to the connection. You already know. Maybe this is... Yeah, maybe you've been with them a while. Or maybe they're a new person. But you've, you've seen enough to know that this is not what you want. So the outcome is showing that you're going to avoid and block this person. Yeah, you could already have a couple of other options anyway. Because the two of wands, the card that's below the word outcome, he's got his hand tied to one wand, his, and he's got his back to it. And then the other wand, he's facing it and looking it directly into the eyes. And he's got his ankle tied to it, and his whole body language says, This is where I want to go. This is where I want to be. But your hand is still tied to something, so... You could be trying to make a decision about something. Yeah, the two of wands can be about um, trying to make, make up your mind. Because you got two paths towards the future. So, yeah, you got some things going on yourself. You, I'm kidding, a lot of you are not going to give this person either a second chance if this is somebody that's trying to come back. Or if this is someone that you're with, you just don't like the way... You just don't like what they put you through. And you just hate the way that they they enjoyed it. Yeah, so. You avoid and you block this person. That's what it's showing. So Virgo, I, I, um, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah, so also keep in mind, when you get the readings, when you watch them, um, the roles can be switched. Yes, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the readings for however it resonates, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.